Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we're covering how to back up RetroArch game saves. So, if you know me, you know we talk about RetroArch a lot on in my videos. And uh, that's because I think it's the best emulator for Windows, Mac, and Linux in general. It can do pretty much anything. You can even run it on a Raspberry Pi. Like, it's great. So, uh, we're going to do the backup. Now, before I get started, the terminal backup is generally the best way to go because it's, you know, it's, it's, you can get granular control of what you're backing up. So if you only want to back up saves, you only have to follow the saves portion. If you want to back up your save states too, you can follow that too. But if you don't really want to like do the hard work of this, you can also do a deja dupe backup. And that's a program, uh, that, we talk about sometimes that basically if you look here it will automatically take all of your files and just back it up I think screenshots so it'll do this and it'll back up all your saves and you don't really have to think about it so if you don't want to do the terminal stuff you can also check that out but anyways guys to get started what we need to do is we need to open up a terminal window like so and then we need to go to the RetroArch saves holder. Now I use the Flatpak version of RetroArch because I think it's better than the one that comes on Arch. But uh, if you're using the traditional release for Ubuntu or Arch or whatever, just use these these commands here. Uh, I have it separated out. So if you're using Flatpak, you copy the Flatpak command. If you're using the traditional release, you use the traditional commands. But we're going to do the Flatpak one in here. So in this video, so hopefully you guys are also using the Flatpak release. If not, you can follow the article in the description. But so if we look here, we see here are my game saves from Crash to all of that. I also have my old RetroArch saves, which I'm going to clear. Now to back these up, all I have to do is copy this tar command here. It's going to create an archive, and then from here, I can move the files to home folder. Now if I open up my file manager and I go to the home folder, I can see that my game saves are right here. So all my game saves are here. I can quickly take this and I can put it in my Dropbox folder and it will sync with Dropbox and I don't have to think about it. And that's it. Now if I want to save my save states, which I don't have any save states. So we'll just pretend that we do. Actually, I lied, we do have a save state. So here's a save state. So if I want to back up the save state, all I got to do is I got to copy this command here. Now this will put this save state here into the folder there. And now I can do move just like before. And we go back to the home folder. And we see here are my save states. And again, I can take my backup and I can put it in my Dropbox folder and you know, it's backing up, uploading to my Dropbox account, and I can just leave it be. So from here, if I want to restore the backups, all I got to do is get these saves that I just put in my Dropbox folder, take them, copy them back to my home folder. Now I go back to the commands here. Now to restore the saves, all I got to do is copy this command here. And, uh, it will restore the saves. I have to remember, move your terminal to the home directory first, as I showed here. Now from here, as you can see, it'll show up on the screen. This means that it's moved those files into place. And we can do the same thing for the save states. So save states, copy the command here. And we have our saves restored. So that's how you back up and restore RetroArch game saves. I hope this was informative. I love RetroArch and I definitely think that if you're a fan of emulation you should check it out. But also understand that uh, backing up your saves is important because as, as cool and useful as RetroArch can be, sometimes you might be able, you might lose your files so you might want to take the extra precaution to back up your stuff. Anyways guys, I hope this video was informative and I'll see you in the next video.